In today's editing tutorial, we are going to create a border around a piece of property in After Effects. So suppose you're a drone pilot who wants to spotlight a piece of real estate and you want to show the border surrounding it. This is one example of what you can do utilizing a simple stroke effect to achieve that. To do this, I used After Effects and a plugin called Mocha to create a line to demonstrate this technique. To accomplish this, we'll need footage of this house as the drone ascends to show the remainder of the property. What I did was basically flew over my friend's house with my DJI Mini 2, which is a remarkable drone for the size, as it can capture 4K footage at 30 frames per second, as well as many other features which I might in the future do a full video on why using a drone can up your video game. So be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more video editing and video creation tutorials. But anyway, I already color corrected and trimmed our footage. So all I had to do was just import it into After Effects and create a new comp. In this case, I just named our layer OG, just in case we need a backup of our footage. I'm gonna duplicate this layer and call it layer one. Next, I selected Track in Boris Effects Mocha from our animation dropdown menu. Then click the Mocha button in the Effects Control Panel. Another window will be launched. Mocha is essentially a planner tracker, which is a tool for rotoscoping and object removal. But what we'll do is trace the property's border as the drone climbs, giving the impression that the line is following the ground. So we are going to make sure that the playhead is at the beginning. Typically though, if it's a bigger property, I usually leave it at the end and just track backwards. But in this case, we're going to start at the beginning, since this is a smaller property. Then we'll click the Create X spline layer tool button. Then we'll click on four corners of the yard to make a square around it. The angles curve can be adjusted to flatten or curve the borders. After that, we'll make sure that these buttons are turned on so we can track these motions. These buttons are particularly used if you want to track particular things, such as the scale, the size, the perspective, all that good stuff. So just selecting these four buttons will be fine. Now we'll track our footage by pressing this button. So sit back and relax, it might take a while. After this is finished, we can take a look at how well our track is. In this case, it followed it really well, but if you want to make little changes, you can go to particular parts of the clip and just move around the tracking points so that your track works well with your intentions. But in this case, it looks really good, so we don't really need to do anything. We'll now save our project by clicking on this icon, and then we can exit Mocha to return to After Effects. While your layer is selected, go to the menu in our effects panel, and then we're gonna select Create AE Masks. This will create a mask layer that copies the data from the Mocha track we just did. As you can see, it's tracked on our layer. So we'll right click to choose our effect. Generate, and then Stroke. And as you can see, a tiny line appears that follows in the same direction as our mask, because our first mask is already selected. The line is created because it's following the mask that we created, and it's because it's the only mask that's on our layer. But wouldn't it be cool to see the line come in in a super cool way? That's exactly what we're going to accomplish. First, we're going to increase the size of our stroke so that it's easier to see. We'll now create our line transition. We'll start by using the end parameter in our stroke effect and create our keyframes. It starts from 0% and then it ends at 100% of course. We'll modify the keyframes from linear to bezier so that we can have an ease in effect. To easily alter this parameter, I use a free application called Keyframe Wingman. This is included in a free plugin called Premiere Composer, which you can get in the link below. This includes a variety of helpful and free transitions, text plugins, and other features. This is not a paid sponsorship, I just appreciate the product and use it on a daily basis to help me with my workflow. So please take a look at it as well, and it can help you out in the future. So what we'll do is just select our keyframes and click this button here so that our keyframes are modified with an ease in and ease out parameter. And check out how cool our line transition is, where it starts 
very slow, then speeds up, and then it eases in. So to sell this effect, we're going to have the rest of the footage turn black and white, while the property will be in color. After that, we'll add a black and white background to complete the effect. We'll copy layer 1 and place it below. After that, we'll remove our stroke effect and mask, leaving only our footage. Then we'll choose our effect, color correction, and tint from the effects panel. And then we'll keyframe our amount to tint option so that it transitions from color to black and white over time. The first keyframe will be played just before our stroke animation ends, and the second keyframe will be played a little later. We don't need to add any softening here, but if you want, you can. We don't need to add any easing in here, but check that out. A simple and tidy method of displaying a clear view of our property lines. It's not only a fantastic practice with Mocha and how strong of a tool it is, but it's also a terrific technique for real estate agents or insurance adjusters to illustrate to clients how huge their property is. However, it is a good practice in case you wish to utilize the tool to replace surfaces with something else, or to highlight a specific part of whatever you want to highlight, such as a wall or a sign. But hey, feel free to leave a comment on what additional tutorials you would like me to cover, and if you want more video editing instructions like this, like and subscribe for more. Until then, I'll catch you later.